Hi guys, welcome to episode 2 of my 6 Samurai Primer. In the previous video, I discussed the deck itself, each individual cards, and what they do to achieve the end board state. In this video, I want to do an overview of the deck in 4 stages. In future videos, I'll be going over all the nuances of each stage, but for this video, I just want to give you a crash course of what we'll be doing with each cards in this deck. So the first of the 4 stage is Special Summoning Assault. Stage 2 is Special Summoning Battle Shogun. Stage 3 is Special Summoning Sari Yuja. And stage 4 has multiple steps and they are Special Summoning Apollosa, number 75, number 86, Naturia Beast, and then lastly Naturia Barkion. So the first and easiest way to Special Summon out as Sold is through Kageki. So Kageki's effect is when you normally summon him, he can Special Summon a lower 4 or lower 6 Iron Master from your hand. So we have plentiful of those. Uh, another way is if you use Kageki for your normal summon, you can use Grandmaster's special summon ability and special summon himself out. Uh, or you could use Firefriend Lady's special summon effect too. And with that, we have nine ways to special summon out a soul through Kageki. So the second and probably the safest way to special summon out a soul is through Shinai and Mizuho. So third effect is if you control one of them on the field, you can special summon the other from your hand. So if you have a Shinai on the field, you can special summon out a Mizuho from your hand. Or if you have a Mizuho on the field, you can special summon out a Shinai from your hand. So our third way to special summon out Assault is through Kizan. His effect is if you control a 6 Samurai monster with a different name, you can special summon this card from your hand. So other than himself, uh, we have 7 6 Samurai monsters that can be used to special summon out uh, Kizan. So the fourth way we have to special summon out assault is through Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. His effect is if you control a Six Samurai on the field, you can special summon it from your hand. So similar to Kizan, instead of the seven uh, monsters that we can use, now we have eight because Kizan himself is level four or lower, so you, we can use him as our normal summon. So the fifth way to go about special summoning assault is through Legendary Secret of the Six Samurai. His effect is when you special summon out a Secret 6 Samurai, excluding the damage step, then you can special summon him from your hand. So we have three targets. So we have Fuma, Hasume, and Kazaro. So whenever we summon one of these three, we, we can special summon out the legendary secret 6 Samurai from your hand. So the sixth way to special summon out is sold is through Dojo and one of our 6 Samurai uh, monsters. We're going to play the Dojo and summon out one of our 6 Samurai monsters. And then with that one Bushido counter, we're going to special summon the squire from our deck. So the last way we have to special summon out assault is through Fire Flint Lady. So Fire Flint Lady's effect is that if you control a warrior monster on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. So we have here 10 monsters that are eligible for her effect. We have the Fire Flint Lady herself. And then we have our 8 6 Samurai monsters. And then we have the Shin Squire. So all... But two monsters, including um, the Nibiru and the Ash Blossom from our deck, can special summon out um, this Fire Flint Lady. So now that we have special summon assault and use our first effect to search and second effect to special summon, we're going to go into stage two of this deck, and that is to special summon out the Battle Shogun and make key decisions after summoning it. So the main reason why we are special summoning out the Battle Shogun is to search for our Gateway of the Six. Now, if you have Gateway in your hand uh, from the beginning, we will search out for the Dojo. And it is at this point that we need to make certain decisions. So in our opening hand, we had started with Kageki and Kizaru. And then we will go for the, our, our generic plays. If we had something else, or if we had an extra Shinai or Mizuho on a field and in our hand, then we'll go for a, another set of different plays. So after searching Gateway and Special Summoning on Monsters, our board state will look like this. 
if we started out with a Shinai and Mizuho hand, then we're, you're probably gonna have two Shinais, a Mizuho and a Grandmaster or Kizan. Uh, every other hand is probably gonna look similar to this, uh, minus or this uh, Hatsume for um, another monster. You might have a Dagusto here, you might have a Grandmaster and a Kizan right here. So before going into stage three, uh, what you want to do is with our gateways, we want to use up all of our counters to thin our deck so that we have the highest chance of drawing Dojo. Um, if Shien Squire is already in your graveyard due to um, some other place that you had, then you can forego the finding Dojo. But if you don't have a Dojo, we want to find a Dojo. Um, so let's go ahead and special summon Serioja. Using the four monsters that's not the Battle Shogun. And with the hand filter ability, you want to find a dojo. So now that we have find a dojo, all that matters is, is to either have a Shinai or a Mizuho in your hand. Any of the other cards don't matter. Alright, once you special summon out Sari Yuja, you want to use this three material effect to special summon out either the Mizuho or the Shinai that was in your hand. And once you have that, you always want to make sure that the first special summon is through one of the arrows that the Battle Shogun is pointing to. Because Battle Shogun's effect is that if you special summon a 6 Samurai that it points to, it's going to get one Bushido counter. Alright, so, so saying that, we special summon out our Shinai, special summon out our Mizuho's. If you only have the one Dojo, at this point, we're gonna build up our Bushido counters with the infinite loop that the Six Samurai has. So if we only have the uh, one gateway, what we're gonna do is activate the Mizuho's effect, should be the Shinai, target itself. At this point, you wanna decline all the effect of your six, uh, secret Six Samurais from your graveyard. Because if you activate them, it's just gonna negate the Mizuho's effect. So we're just gonna say no to all these. It's gonna destroy itself. Shinai's effect is going to activate. We're going to target the Mizuho. And then with our gateway, we're going to search for the um, Shinai that we just destroyed that's in our graveyard. And we're going to special summon it. So if you only have the gateway out and nothing else, every time you do this loop, you will gain one Bushido counter. So after all is done, you net a Bushido counter. You just do this several more other times. So each time you do it, you gain another one. So you go from one Bushido counters to two. If you have gateway and something else, then you are net neutral. So that means you're not losing or gaining any. So if you start out with four, you're going to end up with four. So um, you're just going to have, like I said, infinite ways to special summon out your monsters. If you have more than two pieces, so Gateway and two other Bushido spell cards, then you're gonna actually you're gonna be gaining two to three depending on if um, Skull Dread is here or not. So the more Bushido spell cards you have, the faster it will uh, speed this process up. The less you have, so meaning just Gateway, the slower it is. So you're just gonna, gonna be doing this loop over and over and over and over to build up Bushido counters. So before going into stage four, which is Special Summoning Appalosa. We want to make sure that we have enough Bushido counters to make our next plays because we will be getting rid of this uh, Battle Shogun. Uh, so this will rely on if you have a Shin Squire in your graveyard or not, if you have a Dojo on the play with the Shin Squire in your deck or not. So for that I have an infographic for you guys to explain this a lot better. So before determining how many Bushido counters we need to continue play, there are some prerequisites that must be met, and they are if Shein Squire is in your graveyard or not. If Shein Squire is in your graveyard, then that means you don't need a, a Shein's Dojo on the battlefield. If Shein Squire is not in your graveyard, then you must have a Dojo in play and a Shein Squire in your deck. If Gateway is our only spell card that produces Bushido counters, then we will need 24 Bushido counters. If we have Gateway and Dojo on the battlefield, then we need 13 Bushido counters. If we have Gateway and another spell card that produces Bushido counters, then we will need 18 Bushido counters. 
if we have gateway, dojo, and another spell card that produces Bushido counters, then we would need seven Bushido counters. If we have gateway and two other spell cards that produces Bushido counters, then we would need 12 Bushido counters. If we have gateway, dojo, and two other spell cards that produces Bushido counters, then we would need only one Bushido counter. If we have gateway and three other spell cards that produces Bushido counters, then we will need six Bushido counters total. Okay, now that we know how many Bushido counters we need, and we know that we don't have a Shein Squire in our graveyard, and we do have a dojo on the battlefield, that means we could go into stage four and special summon Appaloosa. So we're gonna use the Shogun, and make sure that you only use it as one material, so say no. And the Saryuja. Izuho and Shinai. So once we've gone into stage 4 and have special summon Appalosa, we're gonna go into number 75. So what you're gonna do is special summon two more either Shinai or Mizuho and special summon out two more Kizans. And then we're going to go into number 75. So after we've summoned out number 75, we're going to go into number 86. Uh, what we're going to do now is summon one more uh, Kizan and one more Grandmaster. You must summon the Grandmaster before the Kizan because you won't be able to summon the Kizan with only Kizans on the battlefield. We'll go into number 86. Be careful not to click Daikusto because they are in the same position. So the cards look very similar in pose, but let's make sure you don't do that. I have done that a couple times. So we're only going to use two material. Make sure you don't use three material because uh, number 86's third effect is that it is unaffected by other spell, uh, other uh, cards on the field. So two material, XC. Right, and now once you summon number um, 86, we're going to attach number 75 and all of its material onto number 86. So now we have a 6 material, number 86. So for at least 3 turns, they won't be able to special summon monsters. So now it's our final stage. Uh, we're finally going to use our Sheen's Dojo. And we're going to special summon out a Sheen Squire from our deck. Then with Sheen Squire and Kizan, we're going to special summon out Nataria Beast. And then with Dojo's last ability, we're going to special summon out the Sheen Squire from our graveyard. And then with the Squire and the Grandmaster, we're going to special summon out Barkion. Alright, and with that, we have our final board state. You can draw with Unite if you want. You can add more 6 Samurais from your graveyard to your hand if you want. But other than that, this is um, Total Lockdown. So your opponent cannot normal summon or special summon for 3 turns. They can still set the cards. Um, they We can negate at least 9 trap cards. We can negate at least 7 spell cards. And 4 monster effects that's not in a chain. Alright. So that concludes this episode of the 6 Samurai Primer. I hope you guys got something out of it. In the next episode, I want to discuss our opening hands and how we can go about achieving the end board state.